Thank you for tuning in for the review of the best products available today. These models were chosen from a large variety of products based on their overall performance and review of thousands of consumers that have purchased them through countless hours of research, side-by-side -side comparisons. It's believed that the following products are indeed the best on the market today. Please take a moment to follow the product links listed below to each product for more information. Sit back and relax while you watch the best highly recommended products for this year. Hey guys, Robin Foxer here with a quick video on this Odipro KL52 hunting light. It's quite a decent bit of kit actually. Um, it comes with several things in the box. I'm going to talk about each of them individually, give you some practical hints and tips on how best to use it, uh, and also give my honest opinion on what it's like as a hunting tool. I hope you like the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. So, as we open the box, we can see that everything is pretty neatly stored away here inside. We have the torch itself, battery and charger, um, a figure of eight as I call them, clamp, um, for quick, easy access to mounting the gun lamp. You've also got a fixed uh, bracket and an allen key as well. You then have three additional lights. You've got a green filter, or a green light. You've got a white LED pill, and you also have an infrared LED pill, making this torch uh, an all-in-one go-to bit of kit. <coughs> you also have a rat's tail switch for mounting on the side of the rifle. I'll put a uh, quick clip insert here as to how to use that on the side of the stock that aids for lamping. It also comes supplied with two batteries in a neat battery storage pouch. So it comes supplied with two 300 milliamp batteries. In there. And then the torch itself with a handy wrist strap as well, so that if you dropped it, the torch would hang. So underneath the battery cover, we've got a spare couple of seals here, which is quite handy. We also have the product warranty information card, along with a fairly detailed instruction manual, how to change the battery and also how to change uh, the IR pills over inside as well. The chart here gives you an indication of how long you could be likely to get out of uh, the batteries, but also how far, more importantly, how far the beams will actually travel um, as well. Now the torch itself is pretty well made actually. You've got a convincing decent button on, on the back here. The hand strap you can actually take off personally. I prefer to do this when I'm out hunting as I don't like things are getting in the way, but that comes off fairly easy. That can go back in the case. You can adjust the width of the beam and concentrate the beam down a little bit by twisting the torch here. That follows the kind of pattern of most uh, torches of this nature. Changing the battery is easily done by removing the rear cap and placing your 18650 battery. Uh, only takes one at a time, so it's quite good that they've given you a spare one. One thing I do like about this torch is changing the infrared, or changing the pill from red to white to infrared because it's pretty easy um, on this torch. So I'll uh, quickly show you how that's done. So we've got our red pill in, and say we want to change it for our green pill. How do we do that? First thing we do is unscrew the head, place that to one side. Second thing you need to do is just screw down. The, uh, the zoom ring which will expose the brass pill housing and then you simply unscrew that. Take your green pill, simply screw that one in. Sides, personally for me is the bracket that it comes with so the metal one and the plastic one although they're okay there's no adjustment there so personally uh, this is just a tip from me um, for around 14 quid you can actually buy an adjustable bracket on eBay this allows you to adjust the windage and elevation and I'll insert a little clip here as to um, why that's um, a good idea essentially that when you're lamping so if you're using this on your rifle mounted on your scope as you see in the image here 
and you want to be able to get the, the red circle as it was to match up with your scope. And so as you look through the scope, and again I'll try my best to kind of video what I mean by this, um, as you look through your scope you need to be able to concentrate the beam. You don't want to be lighting up the entire area, you want to concentrate um, your beam on effectively just what, what your scope can see, perhaps a little bit more so you're able to perhaps look up and see, see what's around. So there's a top tip, get hold of one of those and they fit a Weaver style rail stock. So for me the torch, um, it's a good thumbs up, it's a real versatile piece of kit. Um, and I don't see why anyone looking to get into um, nighttime shooting wouldn't consider one of these um, in their arsenal. So for the price, yeah, it's a pretty good bit of kit.